everyone, it's Ken with Ken's Creations. So recently I've gotten a lot of followers asking me to do some quick videos on showing um, some quick tips on how to use their Silhouette software. So I've decided I'm going to make a series of videos just showing some quick tips on how to use the software. When I got my Silhouette software, um, it was very intimidating, and the only way I learned it was by watching a ton of YouTube videos and just literally going in every night and playing with the software. So hopefully these videos will help some people out there um, be less intimidated by their software and start using it. A couple uh, notes about what I'm using. I am using a Mac computer. Um, I have both a Mac computer and a MacBook Pro, and I do have the Silhouette Designer Edition software. A uh, big difference between the standard software and the Designer Edition software is the ability to import SVG files, which is a big, big, big difference in my opinion. Um, so keep that in mind when I am showing you uh, this ability, because if you do not have the Designer Edition, you will not be able to import SVG files. So, it's worth the upgrade, peeps. Worth it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. In our first video, we're going to show you how to import SVG files. There is a easy way, and there is a little bit of a um, more, not complicated, but uh, more in-depth way that I like, and I'll show you why. So, when you are online, you are able to download, obviously, from a paid site or you're able to get free files in certain sites. I am recently found a site called ppbndesigns.com and I downloaded some files today. And when you've finished your um, checkout, it's going to bring you to a download site, which is right here. When you get your download uh, link, you're just going to go ahead and hit download files. It's going to bring you to your download page. Now, some of the sites is going to tell you how many more times you can download this file. Um, the reason they do this is a couple things. Um, obviously, they don't want you to be able to download this file a bazillion and a half times because you could be downloading it on friends' computers, brothers, sisters. Heck, you could give it to everyone. Some sites will let you download it multiple times. Um, for example, I'm a designer for Scrappy-Doo, and they actually let you design it or download as many times as you'd like. Um, but this site does only let you download it a maximum of three times. The reason they do let you download it three times is if you are running it on multiple computers, you will need to import it into your Silhouette software multiple times times. It won't automatically import into all of your softwares on all of your computers. So I'll have to import this on my MacBook Pro and my iMac. So um, that's the reason they do that. So normally I would just go ahead and hit this um, zip to start my download. I don't want to um, take up one of my... Uh, I only have two more times, so I don't want to take up another spot. So I'm not going to hit that because I've already downloaded it. So here's all my downloads, downloads here. I'm going to go ahead and show you the Toy Story set here. Now the reason I like to bring it on the desktop is it's nice and easy to find when I'm importing it into my software. Couple things on the files. When you open up your files, you are going to see a lot of different extensions. You're going to see your Silhouette um, uh, Studio version. You're going to see something called .ai. This is for Adobe Illustrator. You're going to see a .dxf. This is for people who have the Silhouette Studio free version, so you do not have the designer edition, but you still want to import in a file. You're going to see a .eps. I'm not sure what that is. You're going to see a .jpeg, .pdf, .png, .svg, .mtc, .omg. Oh, geez, there's so much. OMG is not really one. I'm just kidding. I'm just saying OMG because there is so much. Um, for example, in Scrappy Doo files, here's their Care Bear file. You're also going to see a uh, Make the Cut. You're going to see a uh, SVG vector WPC. Um, so I have a little cheat sheet here that tells me what those are. SVG files, um, cut file for cutting machines, DXF files um, can be used with Silhouette Studio. PDF cut file separated in color for printing hand cutting JPEG files, 
PNG files. It tells you everything here. This is not my cheat sheet. I actually got this on PPBN's website. And then I've added certain files down here. So studio files are a Drake um, where you can actually just double click it and it'll bring up your studio software. A .ailes for Adobe Illustrator. WPC file, which is this right here, is for Puzzle. Um, MTC is for make the cut so that way when I'm downloading all of these um, things I know exactly which ones apply to me alright so let's get that out of the way since we already know what all those are because when I first started downloading software holy moly I had no idea what all those different things and I thought do I need all of these do I not need them all who knows now I know so when I open up my Silhouettes uh, designer edition software I always go to my library and I, as you can see, like things organized. So as you can see, Scrappy-Doo, I have a folder for them, and then I have subfolders for all of my different designs. So that way, if I'm looking for, example, Care Bears, there's all my files. So I have one for PBBN. I just can't say that. PPBN. Whew, say that 10 times fast. And we're going to go ahead and start importing in our Toy Story files. I've already created a file here for Toy Story. And then what I'm going to do is you have a couple different ways you can import this. Now on a Mac computer, I could literally just open up my file, open up Woody, and I could literally just drag this SVG file right into this. And it's going to show up right there. This is a nice, easy way, and then I'm good to go. Um, this is the easy way I was telling you. Now, there is a more complicated way that I like a little better, and the reason why, let me show you, let me delete that one. If you go to File, Import to my library, it's going to bring up what are you trying to import. And I am saying um, I want to go to my desktop, because that's why I told you I like to put on my desktop, because there it is, you got a friend in me. I go to Woody, and then there's my .svg file, and I hit OK. The reason I like this is it brings up keywords. Keywords are huge. In my other computer, um, which is my main computer, I have over 7,000 files stored in my, my Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software. And it is not organized at all. Um, when I first downloaded the software, I just started downloading like crazy. I was a crazy man, man. Every file I wanted, I downloaded. and Luckily, I put keywords, and so keywords are huge. So on keywords, I can put Toy Story, Woody, I can put Disney. I mean, you can put whatever you want. Um, you can put a description, and then you hit just OK. That's huge for me. The reason I do that is if I want to go up to my library now, and I'm like, oh, what Disney items do I have? I can hit Disney, and there's my Woody. If you don't have those keywords, if you were just to drag and click that in there, it's not going to have any keywords because the designers aren't going to put keywords in there, or most of them will not put keywords in there. So there's no way to search for that item. So for me, I like doing it the other way. It's a little bit more, um, you know, it takes a little bit longer, but it's, it's well worth it. So when you do that, when you import into my library, one little note is it will actually go into a different folder, which it goes into my own designs at first. So you have to actually click and drag that into your Toy Story file. Okay? So even though we, we said put it in our Toy Story file, it's going to put it into my own designs here. Okay, so I'll show you that one more time quickly here. So if I go down to my Toy Story, there's my Toy Story. I'm going to go to Import to my Library. We already have Woody, so let's go ahead and get our alien in there. Here's my alien.svg file. I'm going to hit OK. Keywords, we're going to put alien, Toy Story, Disney, OK. And see where it went? My own designs. So we are going to go down, we're going to select it, and move it to Toy Story. And there they are in Toy Story. So that's how you import SVGs into your Silhouette Cameo software. Um, 
Now, a couple notes really quick before we finish up. Some people will try to import this into your software. Don't do that. It will freeze up your software. Bad, bad, bad idea. All this is, this with the S on it for me, is if I wanted to, I could click and drag it in here and it will it will show up. So there it shows up. If you try to import it like I just showed you, it will confuse your, your software and it will freeze you up. So you can definitely click and drag this if you have the basic edition software or if you have the designer edition, you can, and it will show up. And it's a nice, quick, easy way. But once again, it doesn't have keywords. Very important. The other thing is, is your .dx file. This is a way if you have the free edition of Silhouette Studio. So if I wanted to import that in, I could actually go up to import to my library. I could then go to the .dxf, hit OK. And then once again, put in my keywords. Hit OK. And there's the Silhouette software. Now, as you can see, it's not colored like the other ones. It's just a cut file. We're going to get rid of that one. All right. So there you have it. That's how you import SVG files. Just a quick note before we finish up this video. SVG file will not have cut lines around it. So before you cut it, make sure you put your cut lines. So as you can see, no cut lines. So before you cut this item, you are going to want to make sure you highlight it and put your cut lines around it before you cut it. All right, guys, I think that covers everything on how to import SVG files into your Designer Edition Su Silhouette software. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out for me and make sure to come back and look at more videos. Thanks for following my blog and my YouTube videos. It's been great. Thanks, guys.